Good day everyone! Welcome to my learning channel, Sir Fox Learning Channel. Today, we will learn Mathematics 8 with Teacher Arlene. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong videos. Happy learning everyone! Okay, today I'm going to present to you how to solve problems involving factoring polynomials. Okay, let's take this problem. The product of two consecutive even integers is 624. Find the value of each integer. Now, in this problem, we're looking for two consecutive even integers. When we say consecutive, that means magkasunod. So, but we're talking of consecutive even. So, let's have first examples of consecutive even integers. So, if the first even number is 2, then the next consecutive even integer will be 4. If the first integer is 4, then next to it will be 6 because we're talking of even integers. Now, if the first is 6, then the next will be 8. If the first integer is 8, the next to it will be 10. So, notice that if you know the first integer to get the next even, all you have to do is to add 2 to it. So, take a look at this. 2. What will you add to 2 to get 4? We just add 2. Then we will get the next. Now, if the first integer is 4, all we have to do is to add 2 to it, and you will get the next. If the first integer, if the first even integer is 6, then we will just add 2 to it to get the next, which is 8. The same thing, if the first integer is 8, you will just add 2 to it to get the next consecutive, which is 10. So, notice that we just add 2 to the first, to whatever the first integer is, to get the next. Okay? So, now let's go back to the problem. Again, in the problem, we're looking for two consecutive even integers. But we don't know the first integer. So, in algebra... If there is a known quantity, we represent variable to that. So, what we're going to do with this problem is, we're going to represent variable to that unknown quantity. Those unknown quantities are the two consecutive even integers. So, we will, we're going to use the variable x. Let x be the first even integer. Now, if x is the first even integer, based on our example earlier, we will just add 2 to this to get the next even integer. So, x plus 2 will be the next even integer. So, we already have the representation of the two consecutive even integers. The first integer is x, and the next consecutive, or next to this, will be x plus 2. Let's go back to the problem. According to the problem, the product of these two consecutive even integer is 624. So, this time, we're going to derive an equation out of this problem. How are we going to represent the product of these two even integers, two consecutive even integers? So, all we have to do is to multiply the two x times the quantity x plus 2, the result must be 624. So, we already have this equation. x times the quantity x plus 2 equals 624. 
this to our the two consecutive even integers we're looking for. Now, our target is to find the value of x. Because if we found the value of x, whatever it is, we will just add 2 to the first, to x to get the next. Okay? So, let us do that. So, again, to do this, we're going to multiply x to the quantity x plus 2. Okay? Let us multiply it. x times x will give us x squared x times 2 will give us positive 2x. And then this is equal to 624. So our aim is to equate the left side of the equation to 0. But on the right side, we have 624. So what are we going to do to make this 624 become 0? All we have to do is to add negative 624 or subtract 624 to it but according to the property of equality whatever you do to the right side of the equation you have to do it also to the left since we add negative 624 to the right side of the equation we have to add also 600 or negative 624 to the left side of the equation to maintain the equality so we call this addition property of equality. So, we added negative 624 to both sides of the equation. Again, whatever you do to the left side of the equation, do it also to the right. So, from here, on the left side, we have x squared plus 2x minus 624 equals, this will give us 0. 624 minus 624 will be 0. So as you can see, we have arrived at general quadratic trinomial. So we have discussed before how to factor general quadratic trinomial. So how do we factor this? The factor of general quadratic trinomial are two binomials. We're in we're going to look for the factor of the constant term 624 whose sum is equal to the coefficient of the middle term, positive 2. So what are those? Again, the first term of each factor will be x. Now we're looking for the constant. Two numbers wherein if we will multiply negative 624. Since we're looking for two numbers whose sum is I mean, whose product is negative, meaning we are multiplying two numbers with different sign. Remember, positive times negative is equal to negative. So, the problem is, what are those numbers? Okay. Think of two numbers wherein if you will multiply, the answer is negative 624. And if you will add, the answer is positive 2. Again, two different sign, but the middle term is positive. Meaning, the larger number will be positive. So, think of those numbers. Numbers, we're in. Again, if you will, if you will multiply, we'll give you negative 624. So, those are positive 26 and negative 24. So, 26 times negative 24 is negative 624. And if you will add 26 and negative 24, so 26 plus negative 24, it will give you the coefficient of the middle term, which is 2. So after factoring the quadratic trinomial, the general quadratic trinomial, we have arrived at this equation. The quantity x plus 2x times the quantity x minus 24 equals 0. Now, for us to find the value of x, because that is our objective, to find the value of x, all we have to do is to equate each factor to 0. So, if you're going to equate each factor, we have x plus 26 equals 0, and the other one, x minus 24 equals 0. Okay? So, next step will be, we need to retain x in the left side of the equation. So, kailangan, oh, we have to remove this positive 26. This must be 
but this must be equal to zero so that if i have x here plus zero that is the same with x so how are we going to make this zero that is by adding a negative 26 because i have 26 here for this to become zero i need to add negative 26 since i add negative 26 on the left side of the equation I need to add also negative 26 on the right side of the equation. So on the left, I already have x because 26 and negative 26 is 0. And on the right, 0 minus 26 will give us negative 26. So this process is what we call again addition property of equality. Now the other factor, x minus 24. So, we need to retain this x on the left side, but we have negative 24 here. We need to eliminate this negative 24, and we can do that only by adding 24 to it. Since we add 24 on the left side of the equation, we have to add also 24 on the right side. So, on the left, we already have x, and on the right, we have 24. So, we have found now the two values of x. Let's see. Let's go back to the problem. The product of two consecutive even integers is 624. Find the value of each integer. So based on our solution, we have found out that x could be negative 26 and x could be 24. Let's see. If x is equal to 24, what will be the next consecutive integer? Then, x plus 2 will be 26. So, meaning, if x is 24, then next to this is 26. Is 24 times 26 equal to 624? Yes. Are 24 and 26 two consecutive even? Of course. So that means we're looking for 24 and 26. But wait, what about the other value of x that we have found here? Can we consider this? Of course, this time, if x is equal to negative 26, now x plus 2 will be negative 24. x which is negative 26, if you're going to add 2 to negative 26, it will give you negative 24. Again, negative 26 and negative 24 are two consecutive even integers. And if you're going to multiply this, the answer is also 624. So negative 26 times negative 24 is equal to 624, meaning in this problem, there are two sets of possible consecutive even integers. Those are 24 and 26 and negative 26 and negative 24. So, that's all.